Some of the most popular products I review are coffee makers and espresso machines. It seems we love our coffee and our technology, so anytime we can merge those two passions, I at least like to embrace it fully. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and TechGadgetsInternational.com, and I've been experimenting with automatic and manual espresso machines. Recently, I've been dying to get my hands on the Breville Barista Express. This espresso machine is quite pricey, but it gets amazing reviews, so I wanted to see what the hype was about and if it's actually worth it. In this review, I'll show you my hands-on experience, look at the features of this machine, talk about the quality of the espresso and how it's made, as well as the milk frothing capabilities, and I'll let you know if overall I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. And don't forget, if you want to read or reference this topic or share it with a friend, head over to TechGadgetsCanada.com for a full write-up. Let's take a look at what you get. This machine is an all-in-one espresso machine. It stores and grinds your beans, extracts the espresso, and heats and foams your milk, all in one moderately sized unit that stands about 13 inches tall and easily fit under my cabinets. You can make single shots, doubles, or adjust these sizes to your own preference too. It also dispenses hot water. When it comes to what's in the box, this is a generously kitted out package. Naturally, the machine is the main component. There is a large two liter water tank with a filter option. On top is the sealed coffee bin and there's an area to the right of it which will also warm your cups. There's adjustment knobs on the side for the grind and all your key controls are on the front and we'll get to these in a bit more detail. The steamer wand and controls are off to the right hand side of the machine and of course there's also a solid feeling porta filter. On the bottom is a drip tray and a neat hidden storage container for your tools. There's lots of extras in here as well including four filter baskets. There's single and double shot baskets for both fresh ground and pre-ground coffee. A stainless steel milk jug, cleaning tools, a disc and tablets, plus a water filter and a razor dose trimming tool are all also in the box. Let's dive right into how it works. I'm going to pull a shot for you just so you can see quickly the process, then we'll take a look at some of the key features that get us to that finished espresso. Turn the machine on and it takes just a moment to heat up. I'm using the automatic coffee dosing here and to start the grind I just push the porta filter in towards the back of the machine. I'm going to make a double shot. Tamp the coffee then run some water through the group head by pressing the single shot button. Then insert the porta filter in and lock it into place then choose the size of shot you want. The machine will run the pre-infusion to wet the grounds then increase the pressure to pull the shot. My double shot took between 20 and 25 seconds on average to be ready. Let's take a look at the key features of the Breville Barista Express, starting with the conical burr grinder. The Barista Express will grind your coffee to your preferred fineness. It uses the professional preferred conical burr grinder inside for a more even texture. A dial on the side lets you adjust among 16 settings from fine to coarse. You can also allow the machine to automatically measure or dose your porta filter, and that's the basket where the coffee is extracted. The dosing is also manually adjustable, so you can use as much or as little as you want. Coffee lovers know that once your coffee is dosed, you need to tamp it just right. There's an integrated tamper right next to the grinder output that allows you to conveniently press your ground coffee. The tamper is also removable too if you prefer. One of the challenges of making truly great espresso is getting the right pressure, but you also have to combine that with just the right grind for your beans as well as the correct amount of coffee. Anybody who's ever made espresso manually knows this can be a tricky process and that things like humidity, temperature, and the particular roast of your particular beans this particular month can all affect your espresso shot. Breville has made it easier to keep tabs on your extraction with its simple pressure gauge. It shows you when you're in pre-infusion mode, then once the water pressure increases, you can look at the gauge to see if you were in the ideal espresso zone or if you were over or under extracting. 
Generally speaking, if you are under extracting, water will flow through the coffee too fast and it results in a watery shot without much crema and without much flavor. If you over extract your espresso, it's often very dark and thick and bitter. Now to avoid over extracting, don't grind your coffee too fine, don't use too much ground coffee in the filter basket, and do not over tamp it. Lots of coffee lovers want adjustable temperature options for their espresso machines, particularly depending on the beans you like to buy, since some different beans require different water temperatures to extract their best flavor. The Barista Express allows you to adjust your water's temperature plus or minus about 4 degrees Fahrenheit in 2 degree Fahrenheit increments from the default temperature setting. If you want to learn more about how to do that, I have the full instructions at techgadgetscanada.com. The water temperature right out of the machine was in the low 160s for me, which was more than hot enough for me, but might be too low for others. Like I said, it is adjustable. Okay, let's talk milk. The Barista Express uses a steam wand to heat and foam the milk in an included stainless steel cup. Milk heating and steaming and creating just the right foam is an art form all unto itself. I have never been extremely good at it personally, and I guess I don't have to be since most often I do drink my espresso straight. I won't go into too much detail here about proper technique and any tips since there are plenty of really great videos you can watch about that. To get things going, position the steam wand tip over the drip tray and turn the dial to the steam position. The light's going to flash to indicate the machine is heating up. When the light stops flashing, the wand is ready to use. Before you insert the wand into the milk though, pause the steam by returning the dial back to standby. Then within 8 seconds, just insert the steam wand tip below the surface of the milk and flip the dial back to the steam position. Once the milk starts to get hot, you can bring the tip of the steam wand to just below the surface of the milk to start introducing air, which will create your foam. The Barista Express was able to heat my milk to just the right temperature for me, but you can make yours warmer or cooler by steaming for more or less time. I'll tell you about my time spent with the Breville Barista Express. I had a really great experience with it. Almost every aspect of this machine is customizable or adjustable to your own personal preferences, while at the same time you do have the option of the machine helping you through some of these steps and creating shortcuts and presets. I should let you know that your first few shots from this machine will probably not be great. That's not unexpected or unusual since you will have to play around with the grind, the dosing amount, and getting to know your machine before you get something that's going to be truly great to drink. My first few days with the machine I was able to get near perfect espresso shots. Then after a few days my shots started getting over extracted. With a manual machine like this, there are many factors that can contribute to your shot changing unexpectedly, including things like the weather, the humidity, coffee freshness, and a lot more. In my case though, I had made no changes to my grind or dosing settings, my beans were the same, and my shots were no longer coming out perfect. That meant I needed to make some adjustments to my grind and my dose and hope that helped me get a proper shot again. That is the beauty of a machine like this though, you get to play barista and it's up to you to react to your circumstances and make adjustments and with this machine you can do all of that. Now if you're thinking this sounds like a lot of work, you're right, it can be. In that case you'd probably be better off with something like a Nespresso machine but if you like the dance of the grind, the dose, tamp, and the hands-on coffee experience, this machine has a lot of fun toys. There's also a feature I liked called the dry puck feature where the machine will remove excess water from the ground coffee in the basket after extraction, so when you go to dump your used coffee puck, it doesn't drip everywhere. Smart feature. I was generally really happy with the coffee I got from this machine and I had a lot of fun experimenting with the different settings and checking out the results in the end. If you want to learn more about things like how to reprogram your shot volume, how to manually control your shot size, or how to adjust your coffee temperature, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got detailed instructions. Overall, this is a very impressive machine. It is incredibly easy to use and to understand for starters. I think Breville has actually done a really great job adding a huge amount of customizable features and options into a machine that doesn't have an excessively large footprint. The design is nice and it blends old school manual espresso machine looks with today's newer technology. The machine holds a lot of water, more than enough for a week of espressos here at my house. 
It has all those little extras like cup warming, the dry puck feature, and even some hidden storage. And with its commercial style milk frother, you can make an entire cafe worth of drinks. You can adjust almost anything on the machine to your own preferences, which is a huge deal. When it comes to the downsides, I'm actually having a really tough time finding much to crack on. Though I did struggle with always getting a perfect espresso shot, that's no fault of the machine. As I talked about earlier, there are a lot of factors that contribute to a good or bad espresso, and by making adjustments, I was able to improve my shots again easily enough. I've reviewed plenty of machines, including Philips super automatic espresso machines, and I owned a Jura for a long time. I think if you're looking for a manual espresso experience that you can also get some help with, this is absolutely the machine to pick up. I can definitely recommend the Breville Barista Express to you. The Breville Barista Express sells for about 1099 Canadian dollars or 749 US, and you can get it from many home and appliance retailers or from Amazon. If you want to see an even more expensive espresso machine I ordered that was a complete and total failure, you'll want to watch my video about the Miele espresso machine, or check out my review of the Philips Super Automatic machine right now.